Hello, welcome to the Fiji Cart uh, tutorial series of CodeIgniter. CodeIgniter is a PHP framework for writing web applications such as content management systems, uh, e-commerce platforms, uh, basic websites, and you know, anything that you want to make available via the web written in PHP. Um, this series of videos, we're going to show you some common things that are done in CodeIgniter. Uh, I'm, I'm very active in the CodeIgniter forum for answering questions. A lot of the questions come up repeatedly. It's the same thing in the common tasks. So this series of videos is here to show you uh, visual learners and audio, uh, audio learners how to do these tasks without having to fumble through a bunch of documents, at least to try and minimize the documentation. Uh, I will say in regard to documentation though, the CodeIgniter user guide is invaluable to learning how to do these things and figuring out uh, you know, what things are like the classes, the helpers, the general topics, configuration settings, etc, etc. So before you come to the CodeIgniter forum and ask a question, please read the user guide. Uh, let me show you what we're, where we're coming from here so you can see you know, the, end, the end goal here. Uh, as you see, FijiCart.com is an e-commerce platform that is not uh, yet released, but it's fully written in CodeIgniter using the uh, HMVC or Hierarchical mod uh, Model View Controller framework or, or uh, design model. And this, uh, some of the common tasks that you're going to learn in this video series are templating, as you can see here, all the pages follow a basic template and the code is not repeated in any of the controllers so you'll be able to learn how to use one template for all your page views uh, you'll be able to use video series will cover things like searching uh, searching and finding things uh, advanced searches contact us so this will be form cover form creation and, and uh, Processing, login, authentication, login, logout, change your password, user profiles, things like that. Uh, so it's going to cover all the all the basic tasks that that you see: menu placement, login, logout, uh, presentation, template, etc. <coughs> For this particular video, let's go ahead and get to the uh, get the nuts and bolts of this thing. For this particular video, uh, a common question that's asked is. How can I execute the same code on every single page? Now, I'm not talking about a template here. I'm talking about just if you want to, uh, a prime example is check if somebody's logged in on every single page. You don't want to repeat that code in every single controller class because that's repetitive. It doesn't uh, conform to the drive principle, DRY, or uh, don't repeat yourself. So we're going to show you how you can write your code one time and it's going to run on every single request of CodeIgniter, every single execution of CodeIgniter, meaning every controller, every method of every controller. So in order to do that, uh, I'm not going to explain how CodeIgniter does it because I, I want to keep the video as short as possible, but let's show you how to do it, and if you actually care about how CodeIgniter auto-loads things, you can look that up later. So in order to do this, we're going to go into the CodeIgniter, and this is just a default application, or a default install, we're going to go to CodeIgniter, Application, Core. We're going to create a file in there. And that file is called My Controller, which extends the CI controller class. We're going to open it up. And I've already got the code on my clipboard. I'm going to drop it in. And what this is is a new class declaration, My Controller. It extends the CI controller. And you create a constructor. The constructor needs to call the parent constructor meaning run CI's constructor, CI controller's constructor. And we're just going to put in here echo, let's put in uh, the current controller class is. And I'll save that. All right, so this code echo the current controller class is and then the name of the current class being called is going to be called up on every single execution of CodeIgniter because, because 
when you go into your Code Igniter and you're writing your own controllers, they're going to go in the controller section. And the welcome controller that's by default comes with Code Igniter. We've copied it here to a goodbye controller, so we have two of them. We're going to go into the original one and we're going to open it up. And you see right here where it says Class Welcome Extend CI Controller. We're going to change that to extend my controller. My controller extends CI controller. So we're still we're still extending CI controller. We're just doing it through my controller. And then we're going to go in the, the main function that gets called is this load view welcome message. We're going to save that. And we're going to go in here to our well, actually let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we bring up our web page. We go to the welcome page that's default and you see here we have the controller class is welcome. That is being run in our my controller class that we're extending. And if we go to our goodbye controller, you'll see here it's not echoed out up there. And if you haven't guessed why yet, it's because the goodbye controller extends the CI controller. It needs to extend the my controller. So we're going to change that and save it. And once we do, now the current class, controller class, is goodbye. So you can see there we have two different classes. We have a goodbye class and a welcome class. Both of them are run. And when you look, both of them do not have any code that says the current class is whatever. It's not in these particular controllers at all. It is in the my controller. And the my controller is what we're extending. So this code here is going to run on every single class or controller that extends it. So that's how you add code to your system that's going to run on every single execution of every controller as long as those controllers extend the my controller class. That's how that problem is solved. Uh, your question very quickly before we end this is, well, why am I going to, I'm not going to echo out anything like this. What am I going to use it for? And the practical application would be uh, you want to check and see if somebody's logged in. If they're not logged in, you want to send them to a login page. Then you would, you would do it here. You would just, you know, you would say something like, if user logged in, you know, uh, redirect, if user not logged in, redirect uh, to login page, to a login controller. So that's, uh, that's how you would do that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more and see how we, how we were able to build uh, Fiji Cart, which will probably be available later, uh, probably in late 2012, as a, uh, an e-commerce platform that you can purchase. Um, if you want to see how an application like this is built strictly in Code Igniter, uh, then subscribe to this YouTube channel and you'll be notified when more videos are available and you'll be able to uh, be shown how to uh, create templates and uh, we'll probably do templating next and then we'll do authentication after that. Those seem to be pretty important. So subscribe to the channel uh, and get notified. Thank you and hope you enjoyed the video.